before I start this video, I just want to send my condolences to Michael Jordan's family um, in his recent passing. Michael Jordan was one of my favorite basketball players of all time, and uh, it's really unfortunate what happened. Uh, but you are still my GOAT. Let's take a moment of silence for Michael Jordan. Because he's not dead, and it was all just a prank. This is the intro to the video. Um, there's a TikTok trend where kids tell their parents that one of their idols died. Um, you know, the most common one I've seen is like, Hey, Mom, did you see in the news Billy Joel dead at 69? Bruce Springsteen dead at 78? You know, it's like all these things where they're pranking their parents into thinking that their favorite celebrities are dead. Well, this happened. Um, it, somebody else hopped on the TikTok trend. It was Angela Bassett's son. I personally don't know who Angela Bassett is. Uh, I assume she's a celebrity. Well, she is a celebrity, but I've never freaking heard of her. And uh, her son did the same thing. Did you wait, Mom, Dad? Did you did you hear this? Michael B. Jordan dead at thirty-five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, at first, you're like, oh. That's pretty harmless. Like, he told them later that Michael B. Jordan was actually alive. They found out he's actually alive. It's all good. Um, eh, until you realize that that woman knows Michael B. Jordan personally. Um, you know, she is famous, so she actually knows him. Um, so basically, that would be like me going up to my mom and being like, Hey, mom, <laughs> did you hear that cousin Ricky died? You know, like, that's a bit different than going, Hey, Mom, did you hear that, you know, Greta Thunberg died in a horrific train accident? Like, that's a totally different thing. You know, one time you know the person, another time you don't know the person. Um, so, the son came out with, like, an apology video. Um, it was definitely forced. You can tell that this apology video is forced. If you guys want a lesson in forced apologies, watch this one. But, uh -oh. it is, uh, 35. Uh-oh. What? 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 No, what? I would sincerely like to apologize for the Michael B for taking part in such a harmful trend. I Okay. First of all, the trend isn't harmful. It's not a harmful trend. It's actually pretty harmless because nobody's actually dead. What is harmful is saying someone's dead when you personally know them. You know, that's two totally different things. When you're in a celebrity family, maybe you're just a little disconnected so you don't really know, but this is a, uh, a bit of a different thing to do when you actually know the celebrity that's dying. Apologize to Michael B. Jordan's entire family, his extended family, and him directly as he is an idol of mine. I think both Michael B. Jordan and his family knew he isn't dead, but thank you for the apology. And taking part in a trend like this. Is he crying? Is he crying? This is completely disrespectful. I don't wish any bad Rem ramifications of this of my actions upon his family nor my parents as they deserve none of the backlash and i i own this nobody's getting backlash the only person that's getting backlash is you because you know you know michael b jordan you know personally so you, you know saying he's dead is a like i said a bit of a different thing the trend isn't harmful the trend isn't a bad thing it's not a disgusting trend um but you know I don't think you I don't think normally you'd have to apologize for something like this. It's because of the unique circumstance that you're in. This was a mistake and I hope this can be a teaching lesson to anyone else who uses social media as a a teaching lesson. It's a bit of an oxymoron first of all and then also it's not really a lesson uh because you know not all of us, you know, a very few amount of people are in a celebrity family. So tool and a source of entertainment to to, to truly understand that your actions can have consequences that extend beyond you. I apologize for any- I think everybody understands their actions have consequences besides sheltered celebrity children, so... We understand that. You just got a hard life lesson, buddy. That's the unfortunate part. Any hurt that, that my actions may have caused my, Mr. Jordan or my parents or any anyone else who could have been involved in this, and I am truly, truly and sincerely sorry, and I apologize. Thank you so much. So yeah. Hey, happy New Year's. Did you wait, Sorry, mom, dad? 
cheeky uh cheeky tiktok popped up it's actually a funny tiktok i'll watch it listen to this hey happy new year's who's watching my balls drop tonight <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year's, everybody. Anyway, so, um, look, in short, not that big of a deal what happened. Don't think a fake apology video was made. That was probably a part of his punishment from his parents, you know? I don't, I'm a celebrity child. I don't get spanked by my parents. My parents make me make a really embarrassing apology video. That's low-key actually smart. I might do that to my kids if I ever get really super famous. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I am posting on YouTube, and I will post. My New Year's resolution is post normally, have a good posting schedule, at least one video on the main channel every day. I'm just going to be posting videos myself. I'm not really going to have them that highly edited because it's commentary. It doesn't need to be highly edited. But my editor, Mario, is going to be editing my gaming channel for me, so you guys should go... You guys should go subscribe to the gaming channel. Um, that's in the description. But uh, if you're not subscribed, what the frick are you doing? Make sure you subscribe already. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the daily uploads. And I, I will do it. Hold me accountable. If I haven't uploaded in a day, if you have my number, call me. Uh, if you don't have my number, text me on Discord or something. Join my Discord in the bio as well. But thank you guys for watching. Comment. What do you guys think? Um, do you think that apology was necessary? I personally don't think it was that necessary but you know could be wrong anyways thank you guys for watching and uh y'all have a good one happy new year